There is one killer feature that AMD announced while unveiling the new Radeon RX 7900 XTX and no one seems to be talking about it. And by the way, I'm not referring to its relatively low price or the reduced power requirements when compared to RTX 4090. Sure, RX 7900 XTX costs less than 1000 bucks and it won't melt your power supply. But I am excited about something entirely different. You see, I mostly use my GPU for video editing and uh, till now I have exclusively relied on Nvidia's GPU because they give me the best bang for bucks when it comes to 4K video editing. But with Radeon RX 7900 XTX, I think the GPU landscape has shifted for content creators, streamers and video editors. This is because AMD announced a new feature called Smart Access Video which promises to dramatically improve 4K video encoding speeds. To understand why this feature is a game changer, let's first talk about the current generation of GPUs from AMD and Nvidia. So all Radeon and RTX GPUs come with media encoders and decoders and these hardware accelerate H.264 and H.265 codecs. But none of these GPUs utilize the extra media encoders that are already present in your CPU. For example, I edit 4K videos on DaVinci Resolve Studio Edition version 18.0.4. My PC is running on Intel Core i7 CPU and Nvidia RTX 3060 Ti GPU. Now Intel CPUs include an iGPU that that comes with hardware media encoders. Similarly, NVIDIA GPUs have NVENC and NVDEC hardware accelerated video encoding and decoding engines. So when rendering a 4K or an 8K video, I can choose either the media encoders present in my Intel CPU or the NVIDIA RTX GPU. But there is no way to simultaneously use both these media encoders at the same time. Which means my PC is leaving extra performance on the table and I'm not getting the best possible encoding time. Now the same problem would exist if I switch to an AMD Ryzen processor and either a Radeon 6000 series GPU or an Nvidia GPU. So in PC world, CPUs and GPUs don't play nice with each other when it comes to video encoding. This is one of the main reasons why Apple's M2 Silicon kicks ass and delivers significantly better encoding performance than a typical Windows PC. Apple is able to utilize all the media encoders present in their SoC because they control both the hardware and the software stack. Which brings me to Radeon RX 7900 XTX GPU and the new AMD Smart Access video technology. AMD has created a new unified API and associated software stack that allows supported video editing softwares to utilize all available media encoders. It distributes encode and decode workloads across all media encoders found in Ryzen 7000 series CPU and Radeon RX 7900 XTX GPU. So that means when you are rendering a 4K or an 8K video, media encoders in Radeon RX 7900 XTX GPU will work in conjunction with the ones that are already present in your Ryzen 7000 series CPU. AMD claims that this technology will result in a 33% performance boost during 4K video rendering. So I think this is a game changer for content creators because this will dramatically cut down the video rendering time. Now at the time of making this video, AMD confirmed that Adobe Premiere and open source softwares like FFmpeg, Handbrake and OBS will support smart access video technology. But unfortunately, they have not mentioned my favorite video editing software, which is DaVinci Resolve Studio Edition. So hopefully DaVinci Resolve will also work with AMD's smart access video technology in future. Now, Intel fans must be wondering that all this sounds very familiar. And you guys are not wrong. Intel has already introduced a similar technology in their ARC A770 GPU. It's called Intel Deep Link Hyper Encode. This feature allows popular video editing softwares like Adobe Premiere and DaVinci Resolve to simultaneously utilize all the media encoders present in both the CPU and the GPU, provided you are using a 12th generation or a 13th generation Intel CPU. So when this Hyper Encode feature is enabled, Intel claims 57% boost in single stream encoding while using DaVinci Resolve Studio Edition software. So these numbers are even better than what AMD is claiming with their smart access video technology. But both Intel and AMD restrict this feature to their own CPUs and that doesn't come as a surprise. So you will have to use Intel Arc A770 GPU and either the 12th or the 13th generation Intel Alder Lake or Raptor Lake CPU or AMD Ryzen 7000 series CPU with a Radeon RX 7900 XTX GPU if you want to get this extra performance. 
Now both Intel and AMD have not invited Nvidia to this party, which means RTX 3000 and 4000 series GPUs cannot utilize the media encoders that are already present in your Intel or AMD CPU. While this may suck for us consumers, I think this creates a great opportunity for both Intel and AMD to get a piece of the video editing and content creation market share. Presently, most streamers and content creators rely on Nvidia GPUs because they offer better video editing performance. Historically, NVIDIA has made better video drivers and superior hardware encoders and decoders. That's just a fact. But fortunately, things are now changing. Intel's media encoders in Alder Lake and Raptor Lake CPUs are actually quite good. In fact, Intel was the first company to launch AV1 hardware encoder with their 12th and 13th generation CPUs and the Intel Arc A770 GPU. And now both NVIDIA and AMD have followed suit and included AV1 hardware encoders in their latest GPUs. By the way, if you're not familiar with AV1 codec, it's going to be the codec of the future. Companies like Google, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Intel, and AMD, they have all adopted AV1 codec, which means YouTube, Netflix, and pretty much every video streaming and gaming website will be using this codec in the future. So if you plan to upgrade your video editing rig, make sure that your CPU and your GPU support AV1 codec. Now, both Radeon RX 7900 XTX and NVIDIA RTX 40 they both offer 20 gigabyte of video RAM. But RX 7900 XTX is $600 cheaper and that makes it a better choice for content creators assuming the performance is there. Now regarding the actual video editing performance, we will have to wait until December 13, 2022 when this card is going on sale. And honestly, I'm dying to find out how AMD's smart access video technology improves 4K video editing. Now this new card from AMD is not only $600 cheaper than Nvidia's flagship card, it is also smaller in size and it consumes less power, which means you won't have to upgrade either your case or your power supply. But I don't want to sound like an AMD fanboy. There are still some unanswered questions. When it comes to video editing, historically Radeon drivers have not been as robust as Nvidia's drivers. Also, like I said before, the Vinci Resolve is currently not supported when it comes to AMD's smart access video technology. So let's hope that things change in the future and keeping my fingers crossed. Now I will try to get my hands on RX 7900 XTX when it launches next month. So if you are interested in a detailed 4K video editing benchmark, please subscribe to this channel. In the meantime, check out this video over here where I talk about why you should consider buying an Intel Arc A770 GPU if you are a content creator. So go ahead and watch that video and I will see you guys over there. Bye.